an ounce. Louis Louis, the audio Rorschach or inkblot test. There are a few songs that have lyrics that nobody seems to be able to decipher. And you might be surprised to find out just how ridiculously far efforts to find their meanings have gone. Yes, there are those songs that have a word or two here or there that you can't quite figure out. And then there are those where you can understand every word, but the message is an enigma. Even when the superfans can tell you they know exactly what the words truly mean. Perhaps the meaning is known only to the composer, or maybe there is no logic to them at all. They're just words or sounds that fit together. And then, there are those where the artist mushes up all the words and phrases so much, you can't even be sure they're speaking any words. Say what? In either case, people start to hear things that are not really there. Interesting thing, kind of like the old Rorschach inkblot test, when the meaning or picture is not clear, our brains will begin to search for patterns, for order or something familiar. Humans are hardwired that way. This being the case, the mind will tend to fill in the blanks of the chaos in a way that makes sense to us. And when it does, what we see in those random patterns reveals a lot about us. In 1955, a song was written by Richard Berry. The title of the song, Louis Louis. It was enjoyed by many, but certainly did not create the uproar that came later. It was the 1960s version that became a hit, with lyrics that nobody could really understand. So, assumptions were made, conclusions were jumped to, and folks got a little riled up. You'll probably be flabbergasted when the real lyrics are revealed a bit later, as society has bestowed this tune with an ignominious reputation that it doesn't deserve. Louis Louis is so much more innocent, and perhaps even sweet, than everyone has been persuaded to believe. The Concerned Citizen and the FBI In 1963, a concerned citizen of the United States wrote a letter to the President of the United States concerning a song that had become quite popular on the radio. It was the same Louis Louis, which was written in 1955, but performed by the Kingsman. And if you've ever heard the version of the song that the Kingsman did, you'll probably remember it. If you haven't, you should do a quick internet search and take a listen. We'll insert a link in the episode details. There are very few words of the song Louis Louis as performed by the Kingsman that the human ear can accurately decipher. We, we have to assume the song was presented in English, as that is the language it was written in, but, well, if you've heard the number released in 1963, you'll know what I mean. The concern of the concerned citizen and their letter was that the lyrics were salacious and obscene. Well, that letter from the concerned citizen went from the president's desk to the intelligence apparatus of the United States Intelligence Services. But there, this little tune got a different interpretation. See, during the 60s, the big issue in the intelligence services had been thwarting the Red Menace. For them, the spies and intrigue were everywhere. However, within this melody, they found no evidence of anything depraved or immoral. What they found was a method used by the Soviets and their allies to communicate codes and messages to agents hiding in the United States who were working to destroy our republic and take down capitalism and thwart the American way. <laughs> After a great deal of time and effort, the spooks could not uncover the hidden communist propaganda and secrets they were so sure they would find. Following an intensive two-year investigation, and roughly 200-page classified report on their findings about the efforts of the communist to warp Western society, the song Louis Louis could not be proven to be part of any nefarious effort. But that was probably because the Ruskies were just so good at disguising the messages that were in that song, then who knows. <laughs> Strangely enough, the report indicates that neither the citizen 
nor the intelligence services made any contact with the composer or performers. In other words, nobody went to the source and asked, they just saw what they saw, and then they took actions based on what they saw, or, or in this case, what they heard, or, or what they didn't hear. <laughs> the artist who did the vocals, well, <laughs> it's hard to tell what he's singing, but he claims that he had some recent dental work that made it tough for him to enunciate anything. And that seems plausible, but who knows if that's true or not. An ounce. So, what does it mean? So, here's the ounce. What do I think? I'll just say Louis Louis, as written by Richard Berry and performed by the Kingsman, is a fun little ditty with a poorly enunciated bunch of lyrics and an infectious beat. Richard Berry, speaking in an interview, revealed the lyrics he wrote were meant to be the lamentations of a lovesick sailor from the Caribbean talking to a bartender named Louis. What are those words that stirred such a kerfuffle? Well, here they are as clearly as I can speak. Louis, Louis, me gotta go. A fine little girl, she wait for me. Me catch the ship across the sea. I sailed the ship all alone. I never think I'll make it home. Louis, Louis, me gotta go. Repeated. Three nights and days we sailed the sea. Me think of girl constantly on the ship. I dream she there. I smell the rose in her hair. Louis, Louis, me gotta go. Me see Jamaican moon above. It won't be long, me see my love. Me take her in my arms and then I tell her I never leave again. Louis, Louis, me gotta go. Lyrics by Richard Berry, copyrighted in 1957 through 1963 by Lemax Music Incorporated. You should take the time to listen to the song and read the lyrics at the same time. You'll see. That's what he was singing. <laughs> it wasn't the crazy stuff that everybody else decided that it was. The Letter Writing Concerned Citizen What they heard in the audio ink blot known as Louis Louis was surely salacious, immoral, and obscene. I'll let you decide what that says about them. The government bureaucracy and intelligence services, they strongly suspected Russian tricks that they couldn't find. I think in both cases, folks simply showed us what they fear. Someone's interpretation of a thing does not necessarily give it meaning, but a person's interpretation does reveal their heart and fear. Seeing an image of a kitten in the clouds floating overhead, that's imagination. And it might persuade others to see the same thing. But it doesn't make the kitten purr. <laughs> Ink blots are like that. And that's it. An ounce. Submitted for your consideration. Well, if you enjoyed this little video, would you do us a favor and hit subscribe and like and share it with your friends? I'd really appreciate it. Thanks.